If you visit any food bank in the GTA, chances are that food items are quickly flying off the shelves as more clients are coming in. And with children now back in the classrooms, this is becoming an even more critical service. Inside the North York Harvest Food Bank, Lawrence Heights location, demand is on the rise. It's like food is just flying off the shelves here. They go fast. They go fast. They've seen a 40% increase from the previous year as more Canadians struggle to keep up with the cost of living. And the trend continues to go up. So this is certainly very concerning. More than 25,000 clients visit the network of food banks monthly. One third of clients are under the age of 19. Among the new clients right now, we have, we're seeing a lot more families as opposed to single person households. So that means a lot more children are requiring support. Earlier this year, the chair of the TDSB wrote a letter to government officials saying there's an urgent need to address food insecurity and for the creation of a national school food program. Canada doesn't have a national school nutrition program, unlike many countries in the world. According to the Daily Bread Food Bank, about 200,000 students use school nutrition programs in Toronto. The provincial funding has been frozen for quite a number of years, and so these programs aren't able to keep up with demand. So that's really happening right across the city. But when families can access these programs, they turn to food banks. At the Daily Bread, 25% of clients in Toronto are under the age of 18. But they too have seen a sharp rise across all demographics. The past few years, we've gone from serving about 65,000 food bank visits monthly to in 2019 to now around 270,000 visits monthly. Food banks have continued to call on governments to address the root causes of food insecurity. <laughs> Critical, especially as the holiday season, one of their busiest is around the corner. Have the number of donations been able to keep up with the demand you're seeing? We're very grateful for the fact that, that communities continue to provide us support, whether in the form of food donations and or financial donations uh, but at the same time whether that support can continue to match the rise in demand we don't know North York Harvest Food Bank recently asked their clients what are some of their biggest challenges the top responses housing transportation as well as phone and Wi-Fi in Lawrence Heights I'm Faisami for City News